this is Lucy and welcome to a camp tour video. This video will be slightly different because I liked this camp so much that when I built it I wanted to see how much more I could build in Fallout Worlds. So I imported it into Fallout Worlds and added to it. So I will give you a tour of the camp as it stands on a regular server and then switch to Fallout Worlds. So you can see how much more you can actually build. You might be disappointed. <laughs> if my voice is a bit itchy and scratchy this morning, I am having a few problems with my breathing. Have to remember to keep doing it. It's quite important, apparently. So please bear with me. This is Tiny Town, Japan. I really wanted to build four buildings, but I just did not have the budget. I literally cannot place one more thing. This is the ramen bar. Um, these roofs were done in a similar way to this roof in the house in the middle. Um, they were done by offsetting a foundation by half putting the roofs on, flamer trapping them in this instance because of the slope and the roofs above. But I quite like the effect. The shoji wall is two walls, a double wall, and then you add a third wall slightly further out. It's quite easy to do. I did want to put take out and I've put out in various letters, but because I have some wall lights sandwiched between this to make them look like they're paper walls, the the out didn't really show up and there is no U in the Greek letter set. So takeaway is what we call takeout in the UK. <laughs> You can obviously eat in if you want. 60 caps for a bowl of ramen. The one thing that was quite annoying about this was, as you can see, there are gaps. This only happens with the lock cap set. If you have a regular wall up there, these just snap straight onto a roof like this at the top. If you have a regular wall on there, it doesn't happen, only with the log cabin set. But I liked the effect because it kind of reminded me of bamboo. I have the TV aquarium. I don't have the plan for this, someone built one in this camp for me. It's a fully stocked kitchen and obviously I have a vendor here. This is the house. I did want to embed these in the wall so that you couldn't see the pole, but the problem is that the ribbons stick through at the back and they wave around in the non-existent breeze. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just didn't work for me. It's quite simple, minimalist. I love this rug. I do not have the plan for this rug. Someone built it in my camp for me. I've put uh, these curtains on and I've used the doorway windows. Washer dryer. I didn't put futons up here, it was easier just to put two regular beds. My sink embedded in a dresser so that the feet don't stick through the floor. These doorway windows are made by putting two barn half walls down, flamer trapping them 
and then building a regular double wall over the top of them. You then repair these and convert them to glass. I actually used a vault tech window, on, uh, a vault tech half wall on this one to make it look like a blind. Well, that was the effect I was going for. So it sort of looks like a pull down blind for the bathroom. This is sort of a general markety kind of thing, which is where, like with um, the tea house, this is really an extension of the ideas behind the tea house in some respects. Um, so all my workbenches are in here. There is another vendor. And at the end, because I couldn't put another building in, because I ran out of budget, I've actually put a garden. So this plan I do have. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I actually got a plan from Mo Miners, a new one. Um, I created a rest for it using rocks with merged plants in to sort of create a rockery effect. Some benches and plants and of course my hot tub. The hot tub is slightly raised, uh, sorry, it's not slightly raised, slightly merged with this foundation. And I've used my little orange floor lights in, merged into the pot plants. <clears throat> this wall in front of the foundations is quite simple. You, um, use a catwalk basically you put a foundation down then another foundation then a third foundation if you take the middle one out you can put a catwalk across attach a wall to it it's not as bright and uh, garish or cheerful as um, the original tiny town but I really like it it's kind of grown on me you may have already seen it in the game because I have actually had this camp for about three weeks and I have been using it on and off um, I just wanted to sometimes with camps I like to sit on them for a couple of weeks and embellish and also I wanted to build the additional part in um, Fallout Worlds and that sort of got superseded by Halloween or October coming and me wanting to build the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. So anyway, let's see what this looks like on Fallout Worlds. So here we are in Worlds. Please ignore the uh, liberators and my blood all over the road from a previous take. Unfortunately, you still get attacked in Fallout Worlds. You can't turn that off. That would be useful. I have um, obviously built on both sides of the road. I have built the Shinto gate using benches and pillars. This is a house. This side of the road was quite difficult to build on because there was a lot of detritus, a lot of trees and various other things. Things like this um, road sign and the telegraph pole, you can't, they won't go away. You have to build around them and I have in fact got a road sign sticking through the foundation there because um, I couldn't build far back enough because of the terrain. This is a sake bar that doesn't say sake it says sake which is very great very nice thing if you haven't tried it if you drink alcohol please try it. I looked online for um, sake bars in Tokyo. And most of them seem to be wood panelled. So I put wood panelling up. Bar stools, there is obviously a 
another vendor here. These um, these vases actually came from the White Springs. I've never seen them before, <laughs> but I found them at the White Springs. And um, these little ones came from Harper's Ferry. These, this is the dis for Thanksgiving display case, the dresser or hutch, I think you call it in the US. Um, I lined them up, I flamer trapped them, and I put this western bar down first. And so I just removed the bits that I needed before placing them, and then you can snap these over. You wouldn't, you can't free place them over a um, flamer trapped display case, but you can snap them in. Upstairs there is a little apartment. I think this is possibly the smallest living area I've ever designed or made. I made a little hob. I didn't put um, a cooking stove on it this time. It's just for display. Somewhere to eat. I merged some candles into the fruit bowl. And there is a little futon with a sleeping bag behind the screen. Again, I was completely maxed out on budget. I cannot put another thing down, I don't think. <laughs> so, I would love to be able to add more clutter, more decoration. Please ignore the tree coming through there. I do feel that with trees that we can't bulldoze, that if they hit a wall, it should just kind of remove that part of the tree. It'd be useful. So This tree I added. Um, and this rock here, because this rock looked like it was floating. <laughs> Ooh. I had disappearing and appearing terrain there for a second. This was intended to be a house, hence the chickens. But I ran out of budget, so this house is completely empty, apart from my generator. I didn't even double wall this. Originally I had um, a floor, upper floor in here. But I took it out because I needed the budget. So yes, I mean basically Fallout Worlds gives you an, an, addition, an additional 50%. So if three houses is 100%, then that's the equivalent of one and a half houses. So it's not a lot. And for those of you that aren't very good at percentages, it means it gives you half as much again. So it's a bit disappointing, to be honest. And I don't really know what to do with worlds. I have been considering creating a world for Nora, for Nora's realty. So she has like this whole world. I can set it up how she wants and just running Nora's realty from that world. But I don't know. I mean... You can level up, you can do everything that you can do on another world, but obviously those things don't translate. You can't do um, any of the season stuff, it doesn't count. So I think if you're a role player and you want a world to role play with your friends, it's useful for that. But I, I just don't know. I'm I'm kind of... And the other problem I've had is um, removing building restrictions is great, except I haven't really benefited much from it. I wanted to build on top of Vault Tech University. I had problems realising my dreams because the collisions are still terrible and I was having problems with I can't put that there because it intersects with an existing object. So. I like the idea of worlds in theory, 
but I'm finding it difficult to use in practice. And I'm someone that builds a lot and I build for YouTube. So for people that don't build, I just, yeah, I don't know. Sounded like a good idea. Just possibly not well thought through. I don't know. But anyway, all that aside, I'm really happy with this camp. I wish I could have put this on the main server as well. It really adds more dimension and makes it look like a town rather than just, you know, half a street. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.